How we doing, Airsoft Young Yellows? This is Austin with Blue Mag Airsoft. Remember, this is a three-part series, so if you haven't watched part one, go ahead and watch part one. Like the damn video, then come back to this video and watch part two. After watching half of our platoon leave in the morning and go to Denny's, I kind of was tempted to go myself. But after a while, I was like, I paid $300 for this event. I'm getting the most out of it. So I woke everybody up. And once we got the whole platoon moving, we got up on the ridge line and we started to move and flank enemy Russian positions while they were eating breakfast. Alright, so, alright. Just to give you some perspective, if you take a look to the left, that is the wood line we were holding the night prior, and the road behind me is the intersection we needed to secure. Over to my right in the open field, there's a massive Russian force eating breakfast that we caught off guard. Five on Alpha, this is Five Mary. We are on the road ahead of the intersection, about 50 meters over. Hey, you got enemies down the end of the road! Good copy, positively ID friendly is over. Hey, five, six, five, six, watch the road to your left. Cover me. Friendly, one alpha. Friendly, NATO. NATO. Oop. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get this guy up. You're gonna cover me. There's like five of them there. Yep. Hey, put your phone away. I'm gonna come to you. Alright. Drop the mag. Oh! <laughs> Tourniquet, right leg pocket. That's Nada, that's 5 1 Alpha. Hey, here's your mag. Thank you. When you guys want to cover and, and get me out of here? Can we transfer you? Huh? Yeah, transfer yeah, you can just grab me and move it. You can't because you're... Okay, I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna All right. All right. On three? Go. Okay. All right. Uh, right here. Right there. Right there. Turn it, get. We're getting oh. smoked here. We're going to have to pull back out of there. Yeah. We gotta move now. You loading? Cover, cover. Everything you got. You gotta finish that. Hustle up.
Watch, don't move, don't move. All right, we gotta get moving here. We're getting smoked, right? You ready? Cover. You cover him, you cover him, I'll cover you guys. All right, ready? Go, you Jay, go. Fall back, Jay. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Five, one half of five, Mary. Fall back to the intersection. We're taking too many casualties over. All right. I got one on the left. Cover me. Yep, moving. Cover, cover, cover. Go, go, go! Wait a minute, I am bugged in on this. Alright, let's go. Break contact, break contact. Huh? Nope. NATO! You guys NATO? Yeah. Alright. One alpha. One alpha? One alpha. One alpha. Break contact. Casualty space. Yeah. Come you on. do a reassessment later. Any casualties? How's your ammo? Hey, let's go ahead and set up a right here. Alright. Is he dead? What? Is he Shit. Good copy, 5 1 Alpha. I have eyes on those units over. Like, I can see them right here, 30 of them pushing into the tree line right up here. Russians? Oh. Hey, hurry up, we need to go. Move it. CCP, CCP. After hardly even putting a dent in the Russian militia forces because they outnumbered us like 6 to 1 or something ridiculous like that, we came back to our objective rally point and refit got more water bottles and by the way as a medic you got to carry 30 to 45 water bottles in your pack and i brought an m5 medic bag and i could fit about 27 in there and that shit was heavy as hell so if you're going to be the platoon medic just an fyi you can see we're rucking here it was real crappy to ruck with all that equipment Carrying my ruck, my weapon, and the M5 medic bag with more water bottles like spread out across my kit is probably about like 80 to 100 pounds. So I could hardly keep up with people here. rucking. So once we get settled into the town, we decide we need to set up a few observation posts. So 5th platoon sector was this sector, which I believe was on the east side of town or west side of town, I'm not sure. And we needed to, to set up an observation post out near this little wood cabin that was across this little intersection here. So after taking some cool guy pictures in the town, me and my friend Alex take 5th platoon and we kind of give everybody a nudge here and we just start running and eventually we push through the enemy lines to set up this observation post. Well we need to get in there fellas, it's now or never. Alright, All right, if you guys want to push up a support by fire element as far as you can get up. Alright, you ready? Let's just get this party started baby. Huh? We're f***ing going man! Get some support by fire laid down. Let's go.
cover me. Nah. Beaker. Take it far. Move, Alex, move. Go, go, go. Cover! Reloading. Reloading. <sighs> Don't call a shit, man. Just play the game. There is a trend in airsoft that annoys the shit out of me and it's calling enemy players hits like a two-year-old. That's why I yell at this guy to my left telling him to just play the game because it completely ruins the atmosphere and nobody actually knows if their BBs are hitting an enemy player. So why would you yell at somebody else when your BBs are probably falling 10 feet short? No, don't do that. Don't, don't go up there. Oh! All right, ready? One, two, three, fall back, come on. Huh? Go Big Russian force moving in. Your mags! Where's his mags at? No. Alright, well he knows where they're at. Huge Russian force coming in. Are you still alive? I got the one on the left! Are you still alive? Whoa. I don't know. So they're moving that way. Hey, let's get some reinforcements. We got enemies coming in. We need a buffer. Need buffer. Need a buffer. We got a foothold down here. They don't call hits though. They don't give a fuck. Nah, don't say that, man. It just ruins the game when, um, when you're just calling other people's hits. Freaking hate that shit. Because they're saying the same thing about us. They're like, oh, after he here. says this, I proceed to explain that the enemy team is probably saying the exact same thing about us, which you know they are. Everybody does it. They sit there and they say, Alex, man, the NATO team, We're dude, loading. all of them are cheaters. They're all in on it. They've all decided together that they're going to cheat loading. so they can win. Are you down? This is utterly ridiculous. This yeah. is a game where you have a fake you gun and you're shooting BBs right. at each other. Think about that for a second. I am talking to what is probably right like a 40-year-old grown-ass right man who's sitting here saying, they don't give a Target's crap, moving. man. They don't call their hits. This is utterly ridiculous. These conversations should never happen. Hey. You can see me in the video. I never do it. Yep. I never post videos about cheater this and cheater that. I'm not trying to embarrass anyone, and I'm not trying to make a scene. I'm just trying to get out there, Little build character, the mentor, bars, and have a good time with my right. friends. I really don't care if someone's not calling their hits. And it's not for me to judge. So, I can't even tell. I'm probably shooting 300, 400 feet across this creek like in this video. This and this guy's over right here complaining here. they don't call their hits. Uh, Utterly ridiculous. Two, it's like... embarrassing to the sport. This sport is phenomenal. Yeah. And it will grow if people See, can if grow up a little hold, bit hold and stop making scenes on the field that drives away new players. It's just absolutely embarrassing. And this person not calling their hits behind this cabin turns out to be like a 22-year-old girl. Yes! Hey! Oh, team squad. Oh. Look at these guys. That's why. Hey, you made it. Dude, temperament issues, here we go. <laughs> Got a big force! This Coming situation could be completely different from what I perceived. Oh, not in Someone in the apparently. comment section may Let's say, go, hey dude, up, I was up, there. Go, go, two guys go. didn't sprint behind that barn and, gah, 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 and just freaking shoot up two of the enemy go. team just because they quote unquote weren't calling their hits. So I think you're reporting this wrong. 
whatever. If I'm reporting it wrong, then These call me out on it. I don't care. It's just from what know. I could see and from all the yelling around me, Push I think that's exactly building. what happened. But I think a lot of people miss the point Heads with up, Airsoft. It's the not just about line. getting freaking kills. Like, yeah, I got freaking 20 kills this week. Uh, uh, uh. It's just, it's not about that shit. It's about right teamwork, it's about character building, and it's about learning That's to work together in big there. groups of people. People miss this point with Airsoft all the time. Yeah. Instead, they're so focused on getting that freaking tactical nuke and getting that Harrier strike. Ugh, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, that's coming right there. Hey, who the f you guys? Who the f where the f you guys? Right here. Do you need an IV? Huh? You need an IV? No. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Who needs an IV? Who needs a medic? Ah, uh, here you go, Swear Sports. <laughs> Let's say I'm new to Airsoft and I was the one hiding you know, behind like this little log cabin right move. here and I have a bunch of people over across the creek that are screaming at me, calling me a cheater and decide to storm my position and just light me up. I'm never coming back. I'm never playing Airsoft again. In fact, I'm probably going to make a YouTube about it and be like, this community is pathetic. They're a bunch of two-year-olds. Uh, so don't, let's dude, stop doing this so we can start to draw in more players and build a big player base. I don't know if I can do that, dude. I can... I'll, I'll get the photo. <laughs> Good game, guys. All right. Oh, See you right. Next year. <laughs> I had no idea we would be able to do that. That's what Yo, happens when you're fucking uh, aggressive. Well, I like that striped shirt. It's good shit. All right. Well, uh, let's get a foothold here. Right. Let's. Uh, let's go I'll set up a CCP. I got about six IVs. All right. So after lingering at the observation post, we finally get relieved and we head back to the town to get some food and try and take a few naps. We also eat a crap ton of food during this time. I'd highly recommend bringing some really good freeze-dried food. Please, for the love of God, do not bring MREs. Even in the military, I didn't eat MREs. I brought my own food to the field because they're absolutely disgusting. But some people voluntarily ate MREs, and I just I did not understand that. But regardless, keep your eye pro on all the time on the field because the enemy can always sneak in and kill you, and they might kill you in your sleeping bags. This may or may not have happened to me. Again, to keep these videos high quality, I did have to split up into three parts. So please click the link in the description for the third part.